cold in Camilla today, but when it comes to renewable energy, it couldn't be hotter. I'm standing in the middle of a 20 megawatt solar farm here in the southwest Georgia town of Camilla. This utility scale project was developed privately as part of the Advanced Solar Initiative. The Advanced Solar Initiative, or ASI, is a program by Georgia Power where they're buying back 210 megawatts of solar power generated by private companies like the one that owns this facility at a guaranteed rate for 20 years. The location of this solar project here in Camilla, Georgia is due in part to the work of Joe Bostic Jr. He's the chair of the Economic Development Authority here in Mitchell County. Joe, you were instrumental in helping Camilla get this solar project in a time when the idea was perceived by many to be unproven. How did this get started? We had a group of young people from Atlanta approach us about acquiring some land in South Georgia for a solar project. We had no idea what they were talking about. They were talking about a field full of solar panels. We had never seen anything like that. And so honestly, we were a little bit skeptical when it first started out. The more we found out about it, the more real it became. And we realized that they did know what they were talking about. There was gonna be a project called the Advanced Solar Initiative. It was gonna be viable for South Georgia. The program is enabling companies that invest in projects at this scale to get a return on investment. And that makes projects feasible in a place like South Georgia where the sun shines bright. The simplest term that I use to explain it to people, it's like farming, but you're not farming the land, you're farming the sun. You're taking the same piece of land that would have been farmed with trees on it, and you're basically farming the power of the sun on it. When you started this project, there was some pretty intense opposition within the community. You had the ethanol plant that had had trouble with bankruptcy, and you had to convince folks that this project was different. It wasn't going to cost the county anything to have this project. Only impact it would have would be positive on the county because it would produce a tremendous amount of ad valorem taxes, a tremendous amount of school taxes, and at the same time put no strain or requirement on the school system to educate children. So if you like the, the perception of those in the community that may have been opposed to it, has that been changed as a result of this? I've heard nothing but positive things about it since the project's been built. The people that were opposed to it felt like it was going to be another financial hurdle for the county. And I think that once they realized that it wasn't, that all it did was make power and produce taxes for the county, I think everybody kind of got on board then. So what's the future of solar for our nation? I would hope that it would expand in the United States and become more commonplace in homes and businesses. That solar energy would be a part of our national energy solution. We have a tremendous potential for solar. Why not? Seeing the power of the sun, that's just another easy way to be green. At Green Shorts, we tell these stories because we believe that we all have to work together toward a greener future. Our mission is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video to help spread the message. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe for new videos every Thursday and Saturday.